Friends, greetings, hope you are well. Buy more, sell it, or hold it. That is the question on everyone's mind right now. Technically, three days that we should typically see some bigger volume on what's going on right now with DJT. Trump Media, let's talk about it. It is Halloween, and it is definitely some spooky numbers with what's going on here with this stock. So it's holding this $35 zone, and, you know, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I... I thought it was going to be worse today. I'm going to be honest. Um, to, today, the market just finally took a big tumble. This is the biggest tumble we've seen in the market here in quite a while. And I f we figured this was coming because we've just, it's the market's been rolling. I mean, the market has been rolling. Finally, the S&P 500 under 58. Uh, it finally broke that 58 and went back to a 5700. That was pretty interesting in itself. And then at, at, essentially everything just rolled down the hill today with the market. Nothing can could really keep up now trump media here you know it held this 35 that was actually pretty surprising to me i thought um and, and when i started to see the s p 500 struggle a day by uh, the, the buy ratio coming in on all the stocks especially this one right here trump media um i sold out at 41 because I, I thought i thought we were going to like I'm going to be honest, I thought we were going to 27 a day. I was like, here it comes, here it comes, here comes the spill. This is why I've been telling people, take profit where you can take profit. Um, my big profit goal right now is trying to get to a $60 zone. I just starting to run, wonder if we're going to get there at this point. So here is where I see you, me personally, what I'm trying to figure out, what I'm trying to get to at this point. Um, so I think a lot of us have probably made a little bit of profit in this maybe we're holding maybe some people bought in high 40s high 50s um and the question is are we going to get back to those numbers now it's going to be interesting how the market rebounds tomorrow and we should see a little bit of a rebound in the market tomorrow now um you know today was mass sell-off i mean just completely devastation compared to what we've seen i mean the market just fell you know uh, a lot today it, it fell a lot so it leaves room for people to start buying it up again and they will and good news is guess what's in a few days it's the election but on top of that it could mean steroids here for djt because the guy who's the face of djt is running for president and he's doing pretty good in this uh in the in the polls right now so and obviously these polls are back and forth uh but trump is annihilating he's pretty much knocking off swing state day by day here pretty much north carolina is lost for kamala at this point um pennsylvania really tight there um you know georgia it looks like trump's gonna pull through in georgia and i'm not trying to make this a bias video so if you if you love kamala i'm really not trying to like make this like a promotion for a trump video i'm just i'm just looking at the polls that anyone can do right now it's just kind of what you're seeing so question um buy hold sell um personally this is me, so listen, I am not telling, I am not a professional, I am not telling you any way, shape, or form to buy into the stock. If you do not have money, if you do not have capital laying around, do not get involved because you, it is a high risk in this. It's high risk, high reward, but it's very high risk, and we've seen that so far. So, what I would like to happen tomorrow, and I'm going to tell you what I would like to happen, I would love to see the stock struggle a little more. I would love to see it go to thirty dollars. Um, I'm going to be completely honest. I wouldn't mind see it go to fall a little more uh, to thirty dollars. And I thought it was going to fall a little bit here. I thought it was going to have a little bit of struggle in the after after hour market here, but it didn't. It's held this thirty five surprisingly. It's actually tried to get back up to a thirty seven after market, so it's been doing fairly well after market here. Um, I want to buy back in, but I want to buy back in around 30 to 33. That's kind of my buy back in right there. So my game plan is changing here a little bit. Um, sold today, made a little bit of profit, nothing crazy. And obviously with these next few days left, I'm wanting to make more profit on a situation that is bleeding money one way or another. Like I said, I'm looking for a 30 entry point low 30 either 30 even somewhere in there from a 33 34 a little high and here's why i'm saying that might be a little high i'm concerned at this point that we're gonna we're gonna struggle to get back to a 50 do i believe we can get back to a 50 i do believe it can um my concern right now is the overall market um and with that the market will come back here 
I do believe by Monday, Tuesday of next week with the hype of the election. I don't think it's going to come back what we saw like this Monday or anything with crazy numbers because, you know, you know, all these big companies, all these tech companies have released their quarterly. So they're, you know, that that hype right there is kind of gone. It's out the window. What I do suspect is that we will have market hype. Uh, around the election here. The interview with J.D. Vance and Joe Rogan came out today. It's doing pretty good numbers. Nothing crazy, crazy, but it is doing good numbers. Um, and the polls are continuing. So the question is, what is tomorrow going to bring here for the market? But not only that, Trump, uh, a Trump rally once again. And, we, we, you know, we start off this week very hot into a Trump rally. That's really what got this stock moving. I mean, Monday reports came out, Monday and Tuesday reports came out that Trump was like, he was taking over the swing states. He was catching up to Kamala in these in, in the general poll. And that's really what got the ticker rolling here. So a solid two days, Friday, Monday. Yeah, I, I think we could definitely see something happen here, especially if Trump continues to, you know, gain on her at this point. And essentially it looks like there could be a, a, a win, a victory for him. We're going to see the stock do good. It's still holding a 35. I, I think that's quite amazing. I'm going to be completely honest. 35 is very strong. Of course, a lot of people are wanting more than that. Um, and that's why I've been telling people take profit. Do not be scared to take profit. But there's no doubt this 35, this $30 to $35 range here, it's definitely a pillar. It's definitely a cushion where it, it's falling back down to because that's where we've seen the most take off here. And it took a while around this $28 zone to this $35 zone for it to, you know, really shape up here you know that took a while um just a few weeks ago but it, it happened and now it's definitely a safe place for it but if you look in the past with this stock we've seen movements like there's a fly sorry um we've seen movements like this with this stock before um in the past you know when we've had highs of highs we've had lows of lows but then we've shot back up to at least almost that same high you know back in may when the stock finally switched over from digital world acquisition to trump media on the stock market back in march um we saw this almost hit a 70 dollar mark now why is that important well that day back in March, that was a big day for the stock. It was a huge day, so people were very excited about it. And before that, we were look what we were doing. Look what we had been doing. We were doing 40s. We were doing high 40s, 50 on a good day. Then we started to sell off. Then we went to some. Then we went to a 35. Then we played around there for a minute, and then guess what? Big day happened. Boom, 70. I do wonder if we're kind. Of, I, I I'm a firm believer that stocks are creatures of habit. I, I really do mean that. I, I've seen that a lot here, and that's really what you have to pay attention to as well. Um, we could be in a little bit of a cycle like that right now. The only issue is they weren't halting the stock back then. It wasn't being halted like it is now. They're on to it. They don't want to. They don't want it to get pushed. At this point, by Monday, you have to decide where you want to be. But at this point, it is like it's. It's nearing the end of the race, and you have to take profit where you can get profit. Um, do not get greedy in this. You know, Monday, Tuesday, people were taking massive, massive prof profit. I mean, I mean, just like insane profit. Because I know a lot of you were you you started buying in back at twelve dollars, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars. Even if you're buying in at thirty dollars, you were making massive profit Monday and Tuesday, uh, especially Tuesday with the you know almost being at a sixty dollar level. So. We are more than likely, I, I don't think we're done with 40 yet. My, 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 my wonder and my suspicion, is that going to be tomorrow or is it just going to wait until Monday, Tuesday, if we really do see Trump move on these polls? That's what it is. The stock is reacting to just Trump mania at this point. It's, that's all it's reacting to. It's acting to, reacting to investors being hyped up that Trump could actually win this election and this will be. And if Trump does win this election, the stock's going to go freaking nuts. It's gonna, that that's where you're going to really see some big numbers. Um, I don't I don't think the stock will go to hundred dollars unless Trump wins the election. Now, like let's say let's say there's some kind of let's just say that by Wednesday, I I doubt we'll even know Wednesday, but let's say we know by Wednesday Trump wins this election. Okay, let's say Wednesday at noon, this stock's going to go freaking nuts. That's when I think we're going to see our 50 to 70, possibly $100 range. Maybe. Who knows? 
that's when things are going to get crazy. I mean, it's just because it's a safe zone. Then it's safe. It's like okay, we won. We the the stock the, the company will live on. The stock will go on. It, we're safe. If Trump doesn't win, the company is going to fall apart. It's going to be sold off within a year or so. It's going to disappear because the media is going to come after it. It's not going to work. I just, that's not to be mean. It's just the God's honest truth. Don't be naive to what's going to happen if the stock if Trump does not win this election. Saying that in 2020. We, the race was on Tuesday, just like it's going to be this coming week. We did not know 100% who won the presidency until Saturday. You had Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It finally was announced from PA that Biden won the election. Okay. There's three trading days in there. It leaves one to wonder when we start next week, what is next week going to look like Monday through Friday. What are we looking at here in the market? What are we looking at with Trump media here? Is there a reason there's a huge sell-off today? Is there a triggering for a huge sell-off today? Are we being psyched out right now? Because I know a lot of people said, I just sold out. I couldn't take it. I just couldn't take it. I sold out. I don't have a problem with people panic selling. It's the problem when you panic sell and you, you're you willing to lose money. That's what's really concerning. People just aren't, people are so willing to lose money, money than to just have patience. The biggest, the biggest killer for most investors is patience. People just, they, and I get it. It's hard. Like, it's not like I'm sitting here like some kind of like monk about it. Like, it's hard. Like, it, it is, it's difficult. It's hard to watch your money just be ripped apart and you can't do anything about it unless you just, you know, you get out of it. It's not easy. But this is, this is, this is a game right now. You know, this is, a, this is a FOMO synthetic play. Listen, I'm right here with you. I, I, we're all wondering what's going to happen here. We've never invested in anything like this before. This is new to all of us. Okay. If somebody tells you they know what's going to happen, even if somebody's on here who hates Trump and they're telling you the stock's going to fall apart, even if Trump wins, why, why, how do you know this? How do you know this? This week wasn't supposed to happen. When this stock went back to $12 two weeks ago, people, I was watching the comments. I was getting ridiculed about it. People were like, see, you should be ashamed of yourself for making people buy this. What, what, what were you thinking about talking about this stock? You're, you're just leading people down a, a wrong path. I have always told people this is a very volatile stock and to be careful. But what I've also told people, it's a very lucrative stock as well. So imagine if you weren't listening to the comments three weeks ago. Imagine if you were buying in $12, $15, $20, $30. You made a pretty penny this week. At least I hope you did. But my suspicion, my suspicion is that if we don't see much pickup tomorrow by Monday, we might see some pickup here. That's really what I'm that's really what I'm wondering here. So friends, this is strictly a situation of investors moving the ticker here. 100%. We're still at 35. That's very high. It's a very high mark. Even if you're buying it at 35 and it moves back to 40, depending on how much capital you can afford to put in this, that's still a huge push compared to what most stocks are going to find on the market right now. Friends, I'm not going to talk too much more. Um, at, you know, hopefully by Friday something um, I get back in over the weekend here. I'll start talking about SoFi Palantir. We got a big week coming up here with Palantir. Fubo is announcing earnings tomorrow. Hopefully Fubo reports some good earnings. If not, I am done with that stock. I'm moving on and I'm I'm done. Um, but I think I think they're going to have good earnings. But I'm still um, uh, I'm not buy more of it right now because I think it's going to still tumble this whole year. Um, Soundhound, I'm buying, I bought, um, uh, I think anything under $5 is a buy. I think anything under $6 for that stock is a buy, but and I just say all this because I get comments all the time. People ask me, when am I going to talk about other stocks? This stuff that, um, I just, uh, it's been a busy week, trick or treating kid stuff. And I apologize, but I will be back talking about other stocks. I wish all of you the best of luck. Like I said, I'm looking for a 30, $33 range to get back into it. If I miss out, I miss out. Listen, I've been here all year. I've been here. I've been here. Like I've had my fun. Okay. I've had my fun. So everything now is just icing on top of the cake here, on top of the pie, whatever we want to say here. Um, yeah. I'll talk to you soon. Bye everyone.